of China. All right, here's our English speaker. I'm the bus. <laughs> here's my friend who's helping me get in touch with the rest of the people because of my cell phone. I wanna, I wanna show you what Chinese children are like. They always, they always call me Lao Wai. I don't know what's wrong with them. You can go there. Just want to show you how dedicated the Chinese people are to their Olympics. <laughs> Leifeng's diary. Mm -hmm. Leifeng says, a man has a mother and a father, but a man only has one chairman Mao. <laughs> now, let me translate that a little bit. If you are a drop of water, did you really uh, wet the, uh, the whole land? If you are a sunshine, did you really light the darkness? Or if you are a rice, did you really feed some useful light? Or if you are the smallest school, did you really hold on or your post or work or job? <laughs> Think like that. I see. No. There's a song called Xuexi Leifeng Hao Bang Yang, which is Steady Leifeng, and he'll. he'll He's a good example. He's a good guy. Yeah, he's a good example. <laughs> and Kitty's gonna sing one verse of the song for you, real quick. That's it? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Here's the Leifeng Memorial Hall, and over here there's a giant statue of Leifeng. From what I've heard, he came from the south, and he wasn't actually a very tall man. He was probably about five foot nothing. <laughs> and if you look, very show. Leifeng is uh, holding the book of that Chairman Mao book. Holding the Chairman Mao book. Leifeng, if you've ever watched The Simpsons, is kind of like. Jebediah Springfield. Everybody looks up to him. Study Leifeng. Be more like Leifeng. You see that book? There you go. There's the book. And he lived from 1940 until 1962. Poor guy. Rock fell on his head. Or a tree fell on his head. One of his comrades was doing something and it ended up killing him. This is the entrance to the Leifeng Memorial Hall. Get to see Leifeng's rope shoes. A picture of Leifeng and his um, typical posture when he was a child. Some pictures of Leifeng as a child. 
another as a still worker. Here's one of Lei Feng's many diaries. You know, I look around and I think to myself, this guy sure does have a lot of pictures for being someone who only became famous after his death. Check this out. Here's Lei Feng's shoes, Lei Feng's hat, Lei Feng's shirt, Lei Feng's, <laughs> Lei Feng's pants. This is, a, this is a wax statue. Okay, Lei Feng is on a train. He's helping this poor, poor lady. Look at everybody else. Here's a guy. He's just like, oh man, I hate this place. There's a lay phone. He's like, ha ha, I'm helping the general public. <laughs> you want me to take a picture too? Sure. Um, behind the More of lay phone's portraits. Check this out. It is. Lei Feng's Tommy Gun. <laughs> That's <was> great. <laughs> Go over here some more. See another wax statue of Lei Feng inside the actual truck that he drove. There's Lei Feng. He's happy. It's this truck. This is David's family in which we are eating a Chinese barbecue. Here they've got the barbecue right in front of us. There you go. And this is David's father. This is David's mother. In ha. <laughs> David's, David's sister, brother-in-law, and another brother-in-law. No. Oh, fr friend, friend. That's right. That's right. That's right. And I think a nephew. 